I'm Doug Higgins and I paint landscapes. My subject today will be that uh, the river with the fallen log and the uh, that small uh, waterfall. That'll be the focus of my painting, the center of interest. First thing to do is to uh, visualize on the surface where the uh, various elements will be. Uh, the, uh, that little uh, waterfall will be the, uh, the center of interest, the focus of the painting. I think I don't want that exactly right in the middle, so uh, I think I'll put it over to the left. Then there'll be the fallen log, the embankment and some trees in the background, some snow. And the river will sweep down like that, and maybe I'll catch part of that. And there'll be another tree up in here. Okay. So now I know approximately, at least, where... Uh, where the distribution of the various elements. In other words, the... Uh, composition. The water is pretty close in value, and it's not really showing very much. It comes down like this, and there's a, a very nice warm in there that I want to I want to get. And there's a rock there, and the water and the foam it's causing, and that graduates off. And then down here, the river, because you're looking down on it and into the uh, into the water. So here's my. Uh, focus. Get that branch to separate. Make this one a little thinner, again, for uh, variety. Okay, that's enough for here. Now, the, uh, what I'll do is I'll take this home to the studio and uh, finish it up there. I added these, I uh, made these uh, rocks more apparent, gave them more form, and uh, got the, the river uh, uh, flowing better. Uh, I want to get rid of these uh, trees because uh, remember we talked about um, about having a dark tree here someplace as a visual balance well actually this is this is balancing rather nicely still a little green in the shadow and uh, by putting some red in and maybe even some uh, reflected color like that in there. 
Um, what I'm doing is holding the local. If you've seen my uh, book on my, uh, my teacher's teaching program, I studied with Frank Riley and uh, wrote a book about his, uh, his uh, teaching program. And holding a local is, well, a lot of, everything's in there. Pretty much everything I knew when I got out of art school is in that book. Now I'd like to do a brief tutorial on color and color mixing. This is how the color wheel will look when you uh, paint it. Another thing I like about this uh, color wheel, because there are others, Munsell for instance has five primaries, but another thing is that the complement of a primary is a combination of the remaining two primaries. Uh, the complement of yellow is a combination of the remaining two primaries, which are uh, red and blue. Red and blue combined make purple, the complement of yellow. This is not true of the secondaries. Now I'd like to take uh, the uh, colors on that color wheel and show you how to lighten, darken, and uh, neutralize them. Okay, you can see that that is a neutralized version of that, a grayer blue at about that value. So you paint back to front, thin in the shadow, thick in the light, from generalities to specifics, and before you know it you have a painting you can be proud of, hopefully, and I, I wish you good luck, good painting, and goodbye for now.